As one of the largest predators to have ever lived, Megalodon captures people's imagination, and for good reason. But was this apex predator simply a beefed-up great white shark, and is it still lurking in the dark depths of the ocean? How big is a Megalodon? The earliest Megalodon fossils of Totus Megalodon, previously known as Carcharodon or Carcharocles Megalodon date to 20 million years ago. For the next 13 million years the enormous shark dominated the oceans until becoming extinct just 3.6 million years ago. Atotus Megalodon was not only the biggest shark in the world, but one of the largest fish ever to exist. This giant shark is well known for starring in the 2018 Megalodon movie, The Meg. But in reality, these animals were a little shorter than the 23 meters long fictional monster it depicted. Estimates suggest Megalodon actually grew to between 15 and 18 meters in length, three times longer than the largest recorded great white shark. It may have been comparable in length to today's biggest whale sharks, the largest of which has measured in at 18.8 meters. Without a complete Megalodon skeleton to measure, these figures are based on tooth size. Megalodon teeth can reach 18 centimeters long. In fact, the word Megalodon simply means, large tooth. These teeth can tell us a lot, such as what these massive animals ate. Research from 2022 suggests that Megalodon's size may have been affected by where it lived, with those in colder water growing to larger sizes. Megalodon Jaws In order to tackle prey as large as whales, Megalodon had to be able to open its mouth wide. It is estimated that its jaw would span 2.7 by 3.4 meters wide, easily big enough to swallow two adult people side by side. These jaws were lined with 276 teeth, and studies reconstructing the shark's bite force suggest that it may have been one of the most powerful predators ever to have existed. Humans have been measured with a bite force of around 1,317 newtons, while great white sharks have been predicted to be able to bite down with a force of 18,216 newtons. Researchers have estimated that Megalodon had a bite of between 108,514 and 182,201 newtons. What did Megalodon look like? Most reconstructions show Megalodon looking like an enormous great white shark, Carcharodon carcharias. This is now believed to be incorrect. A totus Megalodon likely had a much shorter nose, or rostrum, when compared with the great white, with a flatter, almost squashed jaw. Like the blue shark, it also had extra long pectoral fins to support its weight and size. A lot of reconstructions have Megalodon looking like a bigger version of the great white shark because for a long time people thought they were related. We now know that this is not the case, and Megalodon is actually from a different lineage of shark of which Megalodon was the last member. The oldest definitive ancestor of Megalodon is a 55-million-year-old shark known as Atotus obliquus, which grew to around 10 meters in length. But the evolutionary history of this shark is thought to stretch back to Cretolamna appendiculata, dating to 105 million years old, making the lineage of Megalodon over 100 million years old. As we've found more and more fossils, we've realized that the ancestor to the great white shark lived alongside Megalodon. Some scientists think they might even have been in competition with each other. Where did the Megalodon live? Atotus Megalodon was adapted to warm tropical and subtropical locations around the globe. The species was so widely spread that Megalodon teeth have been found on every continent except Antarctica. We can find lots of their teeth off the east coast of North America, along the coasts and at the bottom of saltwater creeks and rivers of North Carolina, South Carolina and Florida. This is likely due in part to the age of the rocks, but also because they can easily be found on the seafloor allowing collectors to go diving for them. They are also quite common off the coast of Morocco and parts of Australia. They can even be found in the UK near Walton on the Naze, Essex, although they are extremely rare in the UK and tend to be of poor quality. Why did Megalodon go extinct? We know that Megalodon had become extinct by the end of the Pliocene, 2.6 million years ago, when the planet entered a phase of global cooling. Precisely when the last Megalodon died is not known, but new evidence suggests that it was at least 3.6 million years ago. Scientists think that up to a third of all large marine animals, including 43% of turtles and 35% of seabirds, became extinct as temperatures cooled and the number of organisms at the base of the food chain plummeted, resulting in a knock-on effect to the predators at the top. 
the cooling of the planet may have contributed to the extinction of the megalodon in a number of ways. As the adult sharks were dependent on tropical waters, the drop in ocean temperatures likely resulted in a significant loss of habitat. It may also have resulted in the megalodon's prey either going extinct or adapting to the cooler waters and moving to where the sharks could not follow. Megalodon is also thought to have given birth to its young close to the shore. These shallow coastal waters would have provided a nursery for the pups, protecting them from predators that were lurking in the open water, like the larger tooth whales. As ice formed at the poles and the sea level dropped, these pupping grounds would have been destroyed. A study from 2022 suggests that competition with great white sharks for food may also have contributed to Megalodon's downfall. Studies of fossilized Megalodon and great white teeth show that their diets overlapped. Is the Megalodon still alive? No, it's definitely not alive in the deep oceans, despite what the Discovery Channel has said in the past, if an animal as big as Megalodon still lived in the oceans we would know about it. The sharks would leave telltale bite marks on other large marine animals, and their huge teeth would continue littering the ocean floors in their tens of thousands. Not to mention that as a warm water species, Megalodon would not be able to survive in the cold waters of the deep, where it would have a better chance of going unnoticed. As we dive deeper into the truth about Megalodons, the mysteries of our oceans continue to amaze us. If you found this video fascinating, please like, share, and subscribe for more captivating insights into the wonders of marine life.